God for working in that man's heart to just ride by and give us free Bibles. Uh, and now we're going to pass these free, free Bibles out to people who want to learn the message of God, the gospel. Amen. Yes, King James Version. Amen. <laughs> so it's important that we understand that God has made provision for your freedom. God has made provision for your freedom. For your freedom. He wants you to live. Not just naturally, spiritually. And if we continue to live out characteristics that are contrary to God, ultimately we will receive the payment that obviously we don't want. And so God has made provision for us to succeed, for us to be saved. And that is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ so loved the world, God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, and that whosoever would believe on Jesus Christ would not perish, but instead have everlasting life. God loves you, but does your actions depict that you love God? Does your actions, does the way you live prove that you are in fellowship with God? And so, God loves you. And so I'm going to be reading from Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2 says, And you hath he quickened, meaning made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Who were, now when it says dead in trespasses and sins, it's talking about that we are not aware, we are blinded, we are without knowledge uh, to, the, to a certain extent of the condition that we are in in reference to our relationship with G with God and so we are dead we are dead or we are uh, completely unaware not completely but unaware to a degree of our condition our our condition to where we are criminals before God we are criminals before God the Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so a lot of us, we think on Judgment Day, we're going to weigh our good versus our bad. We think we're going to weigh our good versus our bad. But I do want to tell you that there's nothing that you can do outside of Jesus Christ that justifies you to enter heaven. I'm going to repeat that. There is nothing that you can do in the natural that will grant you entrance into the kingdom of heaven outside of trusting in Jesus Christ. And so continuing it says, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. And so it's, it tells us, it's from a past tense perspective, that we, the ones that were saved, used to walk in ungodly behavior, used to walk in behavior that was contrary to God's way, contrary to God's law, contrary to God's uh, love. And so unless we repent, unless we turn from the way that we think and accept Jesus Christ, we can't, accept, we, we can't look forward to eternal peace. And so it's telling us there is a prince of the power of the air. And that prince of the power of the air is Satan, is the devil. And the devil works extremely hard to disguise himself among the nation, among your people, among your neighbors, among your friends, among your family, 
he disguises himself because his ultimate goal is not for you to see his working, his dealings in your life. God wants you to understand, God bless you. God wants you to understand that unless you turn from the ways that are contrary to him and trust in Jesus Christ, there is a pending judgment that is on your head, on your head. And so God loves you. He loves you so desperately. He, God loves you more than your mother loves you. God loves you more than your father loves you. God loves you more than your children love you. He does. He created you for greatness. But you can never achieve the greatness that God has ordained for you outside of accepting the Lord Jesus. You cannot reach greatness outside of Jesus. You must be born again. You cannot walk in your purpose outside of Jesus. Jesus is your sole way to eternal peace. And many people say rest in peace. Many people say rest in peace. But the only way a person can rest in peace is if they have the Prince of Peace Jesus. in their life. Right. If you don't have the Prince of Peace, you can't be blessed with eternal peace. If you don't have the Prince of Peace, you can't be blessed with eternal peace. The Prince of Peace brings hope. The Prince of Peace brings salvation. The Prince of Peace brings justification. Justification comes through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the sole way to your peace. question is never that if God loves you. That means that your purpose is for nothing. If God is not real, then that means Hitler just got away with the murder of seven million Jews. Did Hitler get away with the murder of seven million Jews? If God's not real, then that's what happened. So that means that our lives are at the whim of people's decision. If God is not real, then that means Hitler got away with the killing of seven million Jews. I want to tell you that there is a justice. God will judge. God will judge. And God has judged Hitler. God it will judge you. God will judge me. The Bible says specifically that it is appointed unto every man and woman once to die and after this is the judgment. Unless we turn and receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we cannot receive eternal peace. Eternal peace belongs to those who receive the Prince of Peace. Eternal peace belongs to those who receive the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. Not Islam. Islam claims that they're the religion of peace. And that is false. Islam is a very murderous religion. And so we are seeing it even today. We are seeing that. But let me tell you something else. What we see in society, society today, if you don't agree, if you don't agree with the homosexual agenda, they will take everything from you so they know better than Islam. They're no better. They will take everything from you 
because they have to advance their agenda. And so God wants you to understand that God is love. God is love. But not the love that you think love is. You think God is, you think God is all kisses and hugs. But even your parents are not all kisses and hugs. Even your parents bring correction when correction is due. Likewise God. Your parents make provision for you to go to college. They put money in accounts to save for you, to make provision. And so likewise, God makes provision to you for you to be saved. The system that you live in is a system that is destroying you. And so God wants you to understand who Jesus Christ is and how you understand that is through being born again. Jesus Christ said it. Except a man or a woman be born again, meaning spiritually awoken in Christ Jesus, he cannot see or understand the kingdom of God. God wants you to be awakened. And there are signs all around you showing you the prophecies that he talked about. God, he's in spirit. He said, she says, you can't see God, he's in spirit. The truth is, you can see what he's created, which, which justifies his existence. How did the world come into existence? Why, through random chances? No, random chances don't equal, ex uh, don't equal intelligence. I can blow a bomb up all day. It will not create intelligence. It will not create another world. Jesus Christ wants you to understand only intelligence creates intelligence. So therefore, an accident cannot create intelligence. He wants you to understand that because you've been lied to all your life. You've been told that you've come from apes. You've been told that you've come from monkeys. You've been told that you've come by accident. But that is a lie from the pit of hell to keep you in bondage. That's a lie to keep you from understanding that you are more than a beast. There's a beast system that is in, in operation, but Jesus Christ wants to save you from that beast system. Jesus wants to save you from that. And how do I know you need saving? Because your brothers and sisters kill and murder and lie and cheat and do all sorts of wicked things. Not your literal brothers and sisters, even though that may be true. I'm talking about humanity. Your neighbors, they murder themselves. They commit suicide in all forms of wickedness. And God wants you to understand that Jesus Christ is the sole way for your inheritance. Spiritual inheritance spiritual prosperity. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is approaching.